Welcome back to Balacore Fitness Radio Show, which is now going to be UFC Gym Santa Cruz Fitness Show. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This, my name is Ellen Como, and I'm your host today. I'm um, next week in two weeks when we have our next show. I'm excited for you. You're going to be meeting the owner of UFC Gym Santa Cruz, Mike. He's supposed to be here today. Something came up. They, like things do, and we know with the fires, with all the craziness that we've had going on in the city, it's been just a few crazy, crazy days. And what I didn't say at the beginning of the show, which I really wanted to say, is I wanted to thank the fire department, all the first responders, everybody that worked in keeping our city so safe. And also, the generosity of Santa Clarita is so humbling. You know, to hear that all of our donation centers are full. They can't take any more. Everybody pulled together and wanted to do something. It's almost like we didn't just, nobody took it for granted what the fire department was doing. And nobody took for granted what what all the citizens were doing. I loved looking on Facebook and seeing that, you know, listen, if you're evacuated, you can come to my house. I got this many stables open. I can handle a big dog and a cat. I have a room here. I have a room there. This is this is such a great community to be part of, and what a wonderful, wonderful community, how everybody just kind of pulled together, and then to have the fire, I mean, I'm driving around and seeing a fire departments from all over that have come together to help fight this fire. I feel sorry for any of the losses that we did have. That is a sad part of this that I uh, wish we didn't have to didn't have to happen but for everything that was saved it was very they worked really really hard and it's nice when you see them I was driving here and there was about six fire engines sitting in a parking lot and there was a woman walking around with bags handing something out to all of them I don't think there's one person in this community that isn't thankful and isn't trying to do something so right now all the donation centers are full but you know in a few days when they're still here when everyone's kind of gone on with their life and forgot about it that might be a time you might want to poke your head in and make sure that they have everything that they need eye drops are amazing for them because I don't know about you but my eyes are burning and so there's a lot of nice things you can do for the firemen and for helping each other out as well we can't really get in there and help out with the cleanup but once we can even to reach out to a neighbor or somebody if we're on the Valencia side and say can we help you clean up a little bit it's a nice gesture we can all make so now getting back to why my announcement today and I've never told I haven't really really told a lot of people where I've gone but Balacor has partnered up with UFC Gym Santa Clarita. Why I chose it, I was talking about in the first segment of the show. A lot of different reasons. One of the first reasons is when I walked in the door and I saw what a beautiful facility it is. It is a big gym with a small gym feel. I love the fact that all the trainers and all the coaches that are at UFC Gym Santa Clarita are not box trainers. These are trainers that know what they're doing. They are teaching their passion is what they're doing. So I love that because each and every one of us has our own theory and I'm glad about that. I want Asia to have her own theory. I want Ronnie to have his own theory. I want these different coaches where we all come together and we all have a little bit different theory that we're going to be able to teach our members. And then you as the member get to decide, you know what, I really like what Ellen said the other day. And you know what, what Ronnie said really made sense. And wow, that was a great class Asia gave me. You're getting so much input from so many different directions. What that does is it lifts you up in your fitness journey. And that's what it's about. So if you want to, tomorrow if you're looking for a gym or you're at your gym or you're finding out you know what this just isn't really meeting my needs anymore and you're on that side of the valley over in canyon country we're located behind behind the ihop across the street from the movie theaters on San, on um, solid ed canyon there's a car wash then there's the ihop then there's everest we're right back there there's the library in our parking lot as well across the street from the movie theaters come in because tomorrow what we're having is we're having member appreciation day which is going to be a luau day and that's the kind of fun things UFC gym Santa Carita does is they have appreciation days but they make them fun tomorrow's luau day there's going to be you know we're wearing Hawaiian garb and everything's going to be kind of like a big luau and if any of you have ever visited Hawaii you know a luau is a place where everybody comes together where your family no one's not family and that really defines what UFC Gym Santa Carita is all about you're a family when you walk in the door when you walk in we know your story you tell us your stories and we love it 
uh, after my class, I always know that I'm never going to be running out the door because I'm going to be talking to two or three or four or five or eight of you, <laughs> telling me your stories, asking questions, which we all love because we get to teach and we learn as we teach. And for anybody that's in any kind of position where we get to be teachers or coaches, when we get to answer questions, it lifts us up and makes us better teachers. So to be able to share our experiences with you, to be able to do whatever we can to help you and lift you up on your fitness journey is what we're all about. When you walk into the facility, you're going to find out how beautiful, how clean. So many, um, Scott Wilk had an event there a couple weeks ago, Women's Self-Defense, and we're going to be having more of those, by the way. It was a huge success, sold out. We couldn't get everybody in the door, so they're really working on how we can get more people next time because it was packed in there. But I can't believe the response on everybody that walked in the door. Wow, I didn't know this gym was here, number one. And number two, I cannot believe how beautiful this gym is. Now, beautiful and ultimate fighting <laughs> doesn't go together, but it does when you're walking into a facility. You want the facility neat. You want it to make sense. You want to know that the coaches are well-trained and know what they're doing. You also want to know you're part of a family. You want to know that you're going to be motivated we're not going to just, we're not there just kind of yawning, giving you a class and walking out the door. We are there because we love what we do. That is what impressed me so much about this gym. That is why I knew it was the right fit for Balacor. Because Balacor, anybody that knows me knows Balacor is gosh, it's my dream, right? It came to me in a dream. I knew I had to make it. It's a product that I invented. It is my, you know, one of my fitness babies. And so for me, it was really important. And it was important that I landed in a place where I could make a difference, where I could help people on their fitness journey. Because to me, sharing fitness is one of the most amazing things in the world. And I feel blessed every day that I get to do this for a living. And I know the coaches at UFC gym all feel the same way. They love what they do. So when you walk in, you're going to get great energy. When you walk in, you're going to get people that love what they do. And let's talk about like the different kind of the variety of classes that are available to you, which to me are amazing. Now, what's really, really cool about this gym is we have so many different areas that we can use. I have a room where Balacor is located, but I take people and my members out into the basketball court sometimes, and we do some stuff there. And then, or I take them, we have two different stairways. So inside, so we can do some stairs, we can do some running, jogging, there's enough room. Even though there isn't an indoor running track, there is kind of our own track that most of the coaches have made the same track where you run up the stairs and then you run across the upstairs mezzanine and run down the stairs. So you have that available to you. I love Asia. She's, she does a class on Wednesday mornings at 8.30 a.m. And she utilizes almost the whole entire gym, which is fantastic. She has the platforms that you can jump on, which are the softer platforms, so they're easier on your joints. And then she might have kettlebells going, and she's using the stairs, and she's using some of the bags. So she's got the whole gym going and some equipment on top of it. So you're all over. You have the ability to do so much in this gym. And then you have the DUT room, the turf room in the back, where you're going to have the kettlebells. You're going to have the tires, which she had tires out in the middle of the gym today, which was great. But they're back there in the DUT room. You have the TRX. So you have the stability balls. You have all that going on in another room. So you have all these different things that you can do and all these different classes you get to experience. One class I don't want to leave out and that's the spinning. We have indoor cycling spinning class. Great teachers by the way. Everybody loves Lisa and she is a wonderful teacher. Everyone loves her class and it's a big sing-along which is a lot of fun but nobody walks out of there not feeling like they just, <laughs> they just worked really, really hard. And then we have a yoga class as well. So listen to everything that when I walked in the door that was available. You have cycle, indoor cycle, you have yoga, you have boxing, you have kickboxing, you have circuit training, you have like a DUT, which is, I want to say it's a modified cross training class, which is very, it's a great class. And then the coaches, 
the coaches that you have that you're going to be meeting in the upcoming weeks, I can't wait for you to meet each and every one of them because each and every one of them is going to reach somebody somewhere or a little bit of all of us is going to reach all of you. So it's great to come in the door. Tomorrow is Member Appreciation Day, but it's also Open Gym Day, so you can come use the gym for free. Come take a couple classes or sit in a couple classes. Meet the coaches. Come meet us. See what we're doing in there. Be part of the luau. The luau, I believe, goes from 5 to 9 at night. That's where we're going to really pull out all the stops where we're going to be in flowered shirts and you're going to probably have some Hawaiian music and a lot of great things. I love that they chose the luau because uh, Hawaii a luau is definitely a time for everyone to come together and celebrate, have a good time and become family. And I think that's a really important thing because that's what UFC Gym Santa Cruz stands for. We have a couple of challenges going on inside the gym as well right now. So we do have those challenges too, but we don't make the whole gym about a challenge because each and every person that walks in the door is different and they have things that differently mo that mo motivate them in a different way and a different person's going to motivate them in a different way on a different day by the way I might have somebody come and take my class one day because I motivate in one way and the next day they're like you know what I really need what Ronnie has to bring to the table or I really need what Asia has to come to the table and I or I need what Turbo has to come to the table then you have this opportunity you have all of us it's not just about one theory. We're all doing one thing and we're all teaching the same way because when you do that, you're missing out on so much. This way, we're giving you so many different options and different things to do and a lot of classes available. Or maybe you like to work out on your own. Can I tell you, we have some of the best equipment that I think uh, any gym does in town. Really good quality equipment. You can get a full workout there. Our cardio equipment is top notch just couldn't be better. Everything there is at that. Everything there at UFC Gym Santa Cruz is top notch. And I can say that very proudly because I had opportunities to go to other gyms. I ch didn't choose to go to those other gyms because of what I saw at UFC, because of how impressed I was by this gym. And I think the one thing that I got was when I walked in the door, I thought, gosh, I didn't even know this was here. And that's why on the show, and I'm so glad we're finally being able to reach the public. Now, they're also very generous. Scott Wilk is giving his free seminars for women's self-defense, which I couldn't think of a better place to hold it. They get involved with charities in this community. I know they're going to be involved with giving a nice big basket to bras for a cause that are co it's coming up in September. And that's for breast cancer. And so they're, they're going to be giving a great basket for that. They gave a beautiful basket for Taste of the Town. This is a gym that's integrating themselves into our community. A community that is generous. A community that comes together. And that's what you're going to get when you walk in the door at UFC Gym Santa Clarita. And you're also going to have that with the 12-year-old. Getting to work out with the mom and the dad. Or maybe you've had your kids all day and you're going, you know what, I kind of want to take my class without my 12 year old <laughs> or 13 or 14 year old. I've seen them all day. I've been with them all day. I need a mommy or a daddy break. We have great classes for children. They're not going to be shoved in a corner. You just sit there, play on your iPad or read your little book. Now, I do want to say that in my battle core room, sometimes some of the kids really don't want to take the classes and they do want to kind of hang out and maybe read a book or iPad or do some homework. They can do that as well. It's okay. And that's it. It's a family gym and a family is not all about doing all the same things at all the same times, right? We have family where you go out to dinner, you have one kid that wants to be part of the conversation, you have one kid that wants to be reading a book, you have another kid that you can't get off the phone. I mean, not everybody's always doing the same thing. So this way you have an opportunity if you have more than one son or daughter, they can be doing different things. They can either join a class with you, they can be doing their own class, they can be sitting in a corner reading a book, it's up to them. And they also do a lot of personal private training so anyone that is really wanting to learn how to fight the correct way or let's say you have a son or daughter who is an MMA fan and a UFC fan and is watching the fights and going you know what I kind of like that I really want to learn how to do that who better to go to than the experts than the people that know how to do this than the coaches that are actually fighting their own fights we have a couple fighting this Sunday and they're the same coaches that are going to be teaching your son or your daughter. So you're getting somebody that knows what they're doing. These are experts in their field. That's something that I think is so important for everyone. When you walk into a gym, 
The first thing you want to do when you walk into a gym is you want to look around. Pay attention. Is there things lying all over the place? Is the equipment broken down? Or is the equipment kept up? Is it new? Is it, it is, and even if it's not brand new, is it well taken care of? It's, is it good quality equipment? I mean, do you have a whole corner of equipment that's out of service? Do you have a bunch of treadmills that you can't use? You want to walk in and know that the owner is taking pride in their gym and keeping everything up to par so you can go in and have the best experience possible. So that's something you want to look at when you walk in a gym. You want to look at the sequencing of a gym. Are things placed in a way that you can use them that makes sense? Or are you going to walk in there and something, you know, I've walked into gyms and they've just felt so distracting and messy that you kind of can't focus. And you want to be able to be focused in any gym that you walk in the door. Does your gym offer a lot of different classes? Or do they offer just one theory? You walk in the door, you do exactly the same thing every single day. Or are you going to have opportunities to do different things? Are you going to have different coaches that are going to reach you on different days? Are you going to have coaches that are going to have different theories that they can openly share with you to make you a better, gosh, help you better, help you move better through your fitness journey. And that's something that I really want to talk about as well. When you are working out and you are on your fitness journey, please ask questions. Just don't go blindly through a class. If something isn't feeling right or if you're doing a move and you're going, you know what, they said I'm supposed to feel this in my back, I'm feeling this in my legs, say something. Take ownership of your body. When you have all these coaches around and all this experience and all this passion floating around you in the building, take advantage of it. The more we can educate you, the better your body is going to be. I would, when I was private training, and I still do private train, the client that walks up to me and said, and will, on our first or second session, when I start trying to get them into it, say, I don't know, I don't want to know why I'm doing what I'm doing, just make me do it. As soon as I hear that, I know I'm going to have somebody that is going to be more of a struggle. And I think every trainer will agree with that. We want and we desire the people that walk in the door that want to know why they're doing what they're doing. Because as soon as you know why you're doing what you're doing, your results are going to be better. You're going to feel better. And you're going to have ownership of your body and ownership of your health and ownership of your fitness. So in all the classes that you're taking, these coaches are going to give you that ownership of your body. You decide. It's your decision what kind of experience you're going to have. And I sure hope that you want, to, you want that experience that is going to lift you up in your fitness journey where you're going to start to see results. Because after all, isn't that the end game? The end game is we want to walk into a gym and we want to see a difference in our body. That's the number one reason people are walking into the gym. Some are walking in for other reasons. Stress release might be one of them. But even if it's stress relief, you want to see a difference in your body. Some people are walking in because their doctor has told them either you start working out or you can die. And that I've had a few clients and members come to me and tell me that their doctor has told them that and has scared them to the point where they've had to walk in a gym. Everyone walks in with a different story. Everybody walks in with a different focus, but everybody wants to look different. That's the job. And then that becomes our job as coaches is to be able to guide you and make that happen for you. Well, not only exercise with what we're doing, but also with the other step that go along on the outside of it. I was telling my members this morning in my morning class, you know, it's hard for me sometimes because I'm with you for one hour and I'm teaching you and I'm keeping you moving that hour so I can't really say too much, but there's so many other things about fitness and health I want to teach you. There's so much. There's so much information that wants to burst out of the seams that I want to tell all my members because I want to help them. I want them to know as much as I know. I want to teach them everything because at that point, the more they know, the more results they're going to get, the more their body's going to change and the better they're going to feel. So that's kind of my goal when you walk into my class and every single coach and every trainer at UFC is going to have their own their, like their own vision of what they want to bring to the table. And I'm excited for you to get to know what all of them are. So excited about the next few weeks. I can't wait to the next show. But we're going to take a break right now. This is Ellen Como on UFC Gym Center Creative Fitness Show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTF. Welcome back to formerly Balacore Fitness Show, now known as UFC Center Creative Fitness Show. <laughs> My name is Ellen Como. Welcome back to the show. And I just, we know we're talking this whole entire hour. If you haven't heard, um, you 
I had the opportunity to blend Balacore Fitness with another gym. I had many gyms to choose from. I haven't talked about it. It happened back in April, but I was very quiet about it for a while. I'm now talking about it and so excited that I get to share that I chose UFC Gym Santa Clarita. Now, UFC Gym Santa Clarita is, to me, the best opportunity and the best, it was the best fit for Balacore Fitness, but it's also the, one of the best gyms in our city. It's over on the Canyon Country, in Canyon Country, or Santa Clarita now. And I'm going to give out the address. It's 18655 Solid Ed Canyon, and it's over in Canyon Country. It's behind, behind IHOP and Everest, across the street from the theaters on Solid Ed Canyon. So that is where it's located. Now, when... I chose Santa, when I chose UFC Gym Santa Clarita, why I chose it is first of all, beautiful facility, an amazing new, great equipment. I loved this facility. And then I was really impressed by the owner, Mike Lindsay, who you're going to meet in two weeks. He's going to be on the air with me, and I can't wait for you to get to know him. He's amazing. They are here to stay. They are part of our community. Scott Wilk chose UFC Gym Santa Clarita to do his women's self-defense courses that he's giving. He gave one huge success. We're going to have more, and we'll let you know when those are so you can sign up for them. The last one, we ran out of room, so they're going to do a series so everybody can get involved, and anybody that wants to be involved can be involved. Involved. Tomorrow at UFC Gym Santa Cruz, what we're going to be doing is we have a luau, and it's a member appreciation. They UFC Gym Santa Cruz takes really good care of their members, and they really appreciate them, and they show it in so many different ways. So it's, again, you're not walking in a door of a big, gigantic gym. Nobody knows who you are. We know your stories. When you walk in the gym, we know things that are happening. We get to know who you're, about your kids and your husbands, your wives, things going on in your life. We can be there to cheer you on when you're taking on something that's big and something that you're looking forward to. We can kind of be there for you to bounce off of when you need to and that's happened a few times at the gym so we're there for all aspects but then obviously we're there to help you change your body and make you more and make you healthy and make you fit so there's so many things but the luau tomorrow getting back on track it you can show up with your whether you're a member or whether you're not member not a member you can take a class so come check it out see for yourself or are you an individual you like to work out by yourself? I will say that a lot of people have pet peeves about some gyms because they walk in the door and there's weights all over the place and it's a mess. You're never going to have that at UFC Gym Santa Clarita. It's neat. Everything's always put away where it's supposed to be. The equipment is kept up. You're not going to have broken areas of gym, of gym equipment. Everything is kept up. Everything is so clean. And I keep talking about clean, 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 clean. When you're in a gym, you want a facility that is clean to work out in. You just do. When it's not, it's just, I, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of hard. I mean, I've been to gyms all over the country. You walk into a gym nice and clean. You get a better workout. You just feel better about the equipment. You have some gyms that you don't even want to sit down on the equipment because it's just so dirty. So that's not what you're going to have at UFC Gym Santa Clarita. The quality of the gym and the quality of the equipment is amazing. The quality of the staff is so good. I mean, these coaches are amazing. They, they teach their passion. They didn't go get a weekend certification and now they're teaching you or your son or your daughter. These are men and women that have a passion that really are going out into the world and doing what they're teaching. They are competing in fighting. I mean, they're, they're, they're competitors. And then they're coming and they're teaching the class as well. So you're getting the top, most top-notch teaching and instruction you possibly can. And you know that right when you walk in the door that people know what they're doing. There's a big difference. You're not going to walk in the door and see trainers that are looking all over the room. You're going to see trainers that are focused on each and every person that's either in their class or if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, focused on the person that they're training. And that was a big deal to me when I walked in the door and I saw how focused all these coaches are on the members and on their privates. That was a big deal. That meant a lot to me because that's something that's kind of a, pet, a private pet peeve that I have. And that's not going on over there. So, I mean, there's just... I could go on and on and on and on on how amazing this gym is. That is why I chose it. That is why it shows the perfect place for Balacor to go and to meet with and meet up with 
UFC gym Santa Clarita. So I still offer my classes and I love for you to come into my class. You can come into my, one of my classes tomorrow for free. I teach at 8.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. tomorrow. So you can come meet me, take a class for free, and then if you take the 5.30 to 6.30 class or the 4.30 to 5.30 class, hang out, be part of the luau. Luau is about family and celebration. You can be part of that family. You can be part of that celebration. All of that while we're changing your body, making, helping you lose weight, helping you gain muscle, helping you get healthy, and helping you on your fitness journey. How much more can you ask for, right? <laughs> so again, the address for UFC Gym Santa Clarita is 18655 Solid Ed Canyon. That is where we're located, behind IHOP and Everest, across the street from the movie theaters on Solid Ed Canyon Road. Now, on the Cross Valley Connector, I know there's a lot of new homes being built over there. We're literally about four or five minutes away from you. And if you're up Plum Canyon, you just go right down the street, make a left, and we're right there. So anybody on that side of the valley, and I have people that do come from Valencia as well to come to this gym. They come to this gym because of what they offer, because of the, because of the instructors, the coaches, because of the equipment, how clean it is, because we put things away, because the owner takes pride. And that is the reason why I chose UFC over any other gym in this valley for Balacor to land in. So I'm excited to meet all of you. If you haven't been there yet, please come by. Say hi to me. Come take a free class tomorrow. Or even come by just throughout the week if you can't make it tomorrow. Come check it out. Take a free class with any of the coaches there. I think you're going to be very impressed. And I really, really look forward to you meeting Mike who's going to be on the show in two weeks and then every two weeks after that we'll have a couple of the trainers in so you really get to know what's going on at UFC, who we are, what we stand for and you get to hear all our different theories and how those theories are going to change your body so you lose weight, you get stronger and you get more fit and you're feeling better every single day. So I want to tell everyone we'll be back in two weeks. Have a great day everyone. Bye.